That, my friends, is a widow maker. <laughs> Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I'm not gardening today, I'm in the woods. And uh, I got a new accident, I want to do a video on uh, how to chop down a tree without uh, losing a foot, that sort of thing, proper technique and so on and so forth. Because I think some people might watch me and they see me out doing stuff with an accident. Yeah, I'm going to get an accident, I'm going to start doing this and man, I mean, when you buy an axe it'll say on the, uh, somewhere in the axe, uh, wear safety goggles and that sort of stuff. What it should say is, this is a dangerous tool that can kill you or seriously injure you. Um, especially if you're out like in the middle of nowhere and there's no one around and you might have to crawl for an hour or two hours or three hours to get back to a civilization. And you might bleed out before you know you get to the place where the person can call the ambulance. It should say something like that on the axe because, I mean, axes used to be weapons, right? Uh, one ill-placed shot can kill you or maim you or someone else. So they're extraordinarily dangerous. Um, but today I'm just going to do a really short video here to talk about something else. Uh, you can see my title for the video here. Um, the uh, Widowmaker. What's a Widowmaker? That is a tree that while you're chopping it the top can break off and fall down and hit you on the head and kill you. And so um, this tree. <laughs> I was walking around looking for a tree to chop. This, this area here is an area that's slated for uh, development. It's, all these trees are going to be mowed down by giant machines uh, some year. I don't, I don't know when that's going to happen, but this is not protected land. This is owned by a private company and they're going to cut it all down. Or They're going to leave some to look nice in between the houses and stuff like that, but 95% uh, of it's just going to get mowed down. Um, so, uh, and I, I'm only, you know, I'm not even chopping a tree here, so I'm not so worried. I don't know why I'm so worried about triggering people, but anyway, um, whatever tree I eventually do chop down, it's going to be a dead tree. This is a dead tree. So I'm going to show you the top of this tree. So what you want to do before you, you cut down a tree like this, um, any dead tree, but especially a really tall one like this one, is uh, I wouldn't stand and push it. I would give it a whack at the axe and see how the, the very top of the tree plays. So I'm going to do that right now and uh, I think you'll agree as I think that this is the tree you should not be standing underneath swinging an axe. Let's see. So do you see all the play in that up there? The way it was uh, just wiggling around like that? I mean, it might be okay, it might not. If I was, you know, if I was gonna freeze to death and that was the only tree and light was going down, I'd risk it because without fire, if you're gonna spend the night in the woods, uh, you're gonna die anyway, <laughs> so I might as well risk it. But I certainly want to, wouldn't want to be standing under this tree uh, swinging an ax with my attention focused on the ground, right? I'd want to be looking up the whole time. And I can even, you can't tell from the camera, maybe I can zoom a little bit. A little bit there, there we go. There's major cracks and imperfections at the top of that. Let me just hit that one more time so you can see it move up close like that. That, my friends, is a widow maker. <laughs> I'm too young to die, so I'm not cutting that tree down. Anyway, just a short video on identifying a tree you should not bother cutting down because it could be the tree that ends your life or changes the way you uh, think <laughs> forever, right? So that tree is not one that's worth uh, worth going at. Let, let time and, and wind and nature uh, work its magic on that. I would imagine in a year or two the top of, top of that tree will be gone. One good windstorm might, might take it down. Anyway, hope you found that interesting, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGarden.com. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.